Hello Taurus and welcome to your money and career reading for October 2020. This is for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Taurus. It is, of course, a collective reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You guys know the drill by now. Be sure to check your other signs for any additional messages that may be coming through for you in regards to your money and career. If you guys like my content, please like, share, hit that subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate it. We're growing nicely. It is so great to see. I am so grateful. Thank you so, so, so much. If you are new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. And if you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to see you again. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can, of course, do so on the website I'll address below. Also, follow me on social media for any updates. Sorry, this incense is being a little... There we go. Stubborn. Also, I want to apologize right off the bat here. Um... <laughs> For my lateness in these videos coming up, I had a bit of a slight medical emergency over the past week or so. Got it all sorted out now. It's all under control. So I appreciate your patience. It means a lot. Thank you so, so, so much. Just ignore this bruise here. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get into it for Taurus for money and career. October 2020. What does Taurus need to know? What is spirit trying to tell us? Taurus, money and career. Taurus, money and career. October 2020. All right. That got thrown out. Let's start with that. Seven of Cups. Okay. Options. Options, Taurus. Let's see what else. Page. Okay. Three. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I feel like you're going to have several offers coming in, Taurus, okay? Um, in many different ways, many different options for you, okay, in regards to, um, I feel like it may be like side jobs or collaborations of sorts. Um, people are going to be contacting you here with the page, the messenger, Um However, you don't have to pick every single one, okay? There's going to be a few people or maybe just like one or two people or one or two projects that's really going to flourish for you, okay? Um, just because all these options are coming in doesn't necessarily mean that they are all going to work out, right? So be very, very discerning with which offers you're going to take, okay? Really look at the people involved, and who can help you grow um, to your most, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, who can help you get the most benefit out of these offers? Okay, who's going to propel you forward? Who's going to give you the most growth? Okay. Be discerning. Yes, the Hierophant. Mm-hmm. Pentacles, Emperor, Chariot. Okay. We have some lessons to be learned here. Okay. With the Hierophant. Okay. Yeah. I think this is talking about um, be discerning. Tap into your spiritual side here. Okay. Tap into your spirituality. Okay, when it comes to picking these projects or what you're going to engage in or these ideas that pop up to you, etc., etc. Okay, now we do have a knight of, on one hand, we have the knight of pentacles, we have the emperor, and we have the chariot. Okay, the knight of pentacles brings you know money and things into reality, but it is a slower moving knight. Okay, it is the slowest knight in the deck. Do be aware of that. Um, now, the emperor says that there may be somebody in this um, choice that a um, little stubborn, stuck in their ways, tends to like to run the show. Okay. Um, 
it will bring you success, albeit not overnight, right? But it does bring change here with the chariot. Okay, so it's like on one hand you have this. This is pretty steady and constant. Okay, on the other hand, you have... Um, Okay, you have the world, which is the ending, a, a, an end of a cycle, okay? Um, Knight of Cups, Eight of Wands. Interesting. Either way, you're going to end up with lots of change going forward, okay? You have two Knights, right? One, The Knight of Cups is more... Um, how am I going to describe the Knight of Cups? He's like... Brings lots of uh, emotional excitement, um, love, blessings, that sort of thing, okay? Um, whereas, like, this, the, the Knight of Pentacles brings lots of, you know, physical, you know, things into reality. The Knight of Cups brings a lot of fulfillment and growth and things like that. Both are equally good, okay? Um, it just depends on what you're looking for. However, do be aware, if you pick um, the one side, okay, the world tells us there's going to be some things coming to an end, okay? This is why I tell you to be discerning, because you're going to have to end certain things in order to move forward, okay? So this side might be you know who you're working with, and it's slow, and it's steady, and you still move forward, but this might be a complete change for you and pushes you ahead, all right? A little bit out of your comfort zone, um, fulfills you more, um, quite quickly, but you have to let things die off, people die off, get out of your comfort zone, okay? So be very, very in tune with that spirituality, tap into that, um, ask your guides, right? There's lessons to be learned from either side. This is a preference thing. Both look okay for you. It's just a matter of which way you want to go, okay? Five of Wands. Oh, another knight. Magician. Nice. Okay. Okay. Taurus. How am I going to put it? I think just, again, we're going to reiterate what we just said. Okay? Be very, very cognizant of what you're choosing all of that goes into that, all right, before you set fire to everything here with the Five of Wands and start tearing apart things, all right, make sure that you don't burn bridges that you may want to go back to later, okay? It's just, a, it's caution, all right? You know, really, really be sure. That's all. Like I said, either way looks good, but like, again, with this world card, when it ends, it ends, there's no going back. It's like burning a bridge. Okay, so before you light that fire, make sure 100% that's the way you want to go. Okay. Knight of Wands tells me that things are coming in. Things that you're passionate about. There's excitement there. Fuels you. Okay, creative things coming in. Offers, excitement, moving forward. There's growth there. Okay. Magician says very powerful time. The veil is thin, very powerful manifestation time for you. But again, be careful with this, all right? Because things are so um, open and the veil is so thin, yes? Okay, be very, very careful. Be very, very cognizant, okay? Because what you think about, you bring about. So if there's that little bit of doubt, that could sweep in, okay? So when you're manifesting, you be 100% sure before you put out any intentions. Okay, that's my warning to you. Be 100% sure of what you want, right? You can't be split. Be, be sure, all right? That's why we say be discerning, okay? Either way, it's going to work out. Trust, trust your intuition here. Trust that you're going to manifest the right thing, but don't have that doubt or it's all going to get muddled, okay? Huh, yeah, the devil. What did I just say? That doubt creeping in, that devil on your shoulder whispering to you, you know, um, trying to pull you back, pull you back from moving forward, okay? Be aware. 
and make sure that this fear and um, getting out of your comfort zone isn't what keeps you um, muddled. Okay. Ten of Swords, we have completion. Nine of Swords, you got lots of worry. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I might even sound a little contradictory here, but no, 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 no. Don't being discerning doesn't mean sitting there and stressing about it. Okay? You're going to make the right choice. Just make sure you're crossing all your T's and dotting all your I's and knowing what you want. And trusting yourself. Okay? Trust yourself. It's all good. You got... I mean, either way, it's going to work out. Right? Either way. But it's up to you to really know yourself and what you're looking for at this moment. Okay? All right. So Ten of Swords says, put an end to that worry that's stuck in your head, that what if I make the wrong decision, that fear, that doubt. Okay. If you trust your intuition, if you trust yourself, you won't make a mistake. Okay. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I just want to make sure there's nothing else here. No. Yeah. Just trust yourself. Stay out of your head. Get rid of that devil. Okay. Make sure you're ready to burn bridges if that's the way you choose. And if that's what you choose, trust that it's meant to go that way. Okay. This is a very big... Um, Trusting month. Hmm, okay. Okay, this has been coming up so often. Synergy and healing. Okay. Again, everything's going to come together. All right. Everything's going to, it's like that synergy. If you're meant to do it, it's going to come together. The choices that you make, if you follow your heart, follow that intuition, follow that gut, it's going to bring you where you need to go. It's going to allow you to move forward, to grow personally, to go on and heal things that you don't even think need healing. Okay. This has been coming up for a lot, a lot of my readings. Okay. And again, that veil is thin, right? It's that time of year. So trust that. All right. Cannot stress it enough. Now, for some reason, I feel like um, we're going to pull one more Okay, this one flipped up. Midnight. The most ma oh, okay, never mind. Two pulled up. So, I guess you'll get two. So, we have midnight, the most magical hour of all, okay? And werewolf exploring wildness. Okay? Again, let that passionate side come out. All right? Let the creativity. Don't hold yourself back here. And when I see midnight, all right? that magical hour, that's telling me to kind of maybe do some meditation, some um, tuning in, maybe in the later hours, all right, in the dark, light a candle, okay, sit with yourself, ask yourself, ask your guides, where should I go from here, help me make this decision, blah, 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 if you know what I'm saying, okay, but this is saying, like, really go Focus on the nighttime, okay, when it goes to make these decisions and go within. I, I feel like the darkness for you is going to be playing a part on how you're going to really draw in to that intuition, okay? And the wild, the, the werewolf, exploring wildness, um, right? Because we have one side that's safe and steady and the other one's a little out of our comfort zone, right? So, again, there's nothing wrong with exploring that right? Where would that go? What does that look like for you? Okay. Trust it, right? See if that's the way you want to go. And even if you choose the other side of the more steady, doesn't mean you can't slowly be letting this other side out. Okay. I feel like there's some sort of imbalance where you need to kind of get that creativity flowing again. Okay. And to trust that. 
very cool month for you, Taurus. Very cool. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching. That's all I have for you for this month. Let me know in the comments how this works out because I am intrigued as fuck. So <laughs> I wish you guys all the best. Let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.